Today I'm going to explain to you the meaning of the time residual sum of squares in regression and of course in machine learning and data science. So the reason I'm making this lesson is because sometimes you see two terms that are actually different but have the same meaning. Like in the machine learning 101 class that I'm taking currently, uh, which I'm actually making lessons on. If you want to join this machine learning 101, you can find the link in the description box. You can take this lesson for free. I use it. I use the time uh, MSE. MSE. So this means mean square error. And now we are talking about R S S. So what actually is the meaning of R S S? I already explained MSE. But today I'm going to talk about RSS because in many textbooks you'll see the term RSS. So this applies in regression and in case of regression we are talking about trying to predict values of y giving values for x. So when you have x1, x2, x3, x4 and you have y1, Y, y2, y3, y4, and so on. So we are trying to find out a relationship between these two variables so that when we are giving another value of x, let's say xi, and we are able to now determine yi, right? So that is basically what regression is all about. So the procedure is simply in this way. Let's say you want to use an application to do it, or you want to do it manually, and you have, let's say this is x and this is y. The first thing you want you do is to plot these values. Let's say this is x1, y1, this is x2, y2, this is x3, y3, and this is x4, y4, right? So what regression is going to do, it is going to actually, uh, first of all, find a function that relates these two, x and y, and that function in linear regression is of the form y is equal to a function of x, which is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x. So linear regression actually will calculate these coefficients, beta 0 and beta 1 x, and then use it to calculate the value of y. So we can call it what y calculated to be in this way. Okay? So after calculating the value of y, it will then fix it, use it, let's say we have, let me just say we have y uh, hat. So it calculates these values of y y hat 1, y hat 2, y hat 3, y hat 4, and again is able to calculate whatever value of y. Now, this scatter plot we have here is a plot of is a plot of x against y. Now, linear uh, regression line is going to do a plot of x against y hat. And that plot might be something like this. It's not guaranteed that it will be exactly the same. It will be. It may be something like this. Let's say something like this. Okay. So, approximately, we are saying that this line, regression line, is about the same as the data. So, approximately. So, if you are fitting more data, they will be on both sides of this line. So that if you approximate, it means that they approximately this line matches this data. Now, where there's another term called residual. Residual is simply the difference between the actual points and the point calculated for the line. Because in case of this line, let me use another color. So we are having these points, we are having these points, we are having this point and this point. So this is the right point that produce this straight linear regression line. So we are saying that for each point, there is an error. Let's call this error E. So for, 
For there we have an error E1, here we have E2, here we have E3, and here we have E4. So for each of them, we have an error value between the actual point and the point that has been calculated in the regression line. So this is E2, this is E1, and here we have E3, and here we have E4. Okay. So the residual is simply E. So this is the residual E. The difference between uh, the actual value and the regression value, or the actual point and the regression point. Now let's now see about residual sum of squares. So the first thing we want to ask ourselves is what is sum of squares? So we have to say that we have E squared, and now we have to calculate E1 squared plus E2 squared plus E3 plus E4 squared. So when you sum up all these errors, and if you are seeing that some of them are negative, some of them are positive. So when you are summing up all these errors, it will give a positive value. So it's not going to cancel out to give a zero value. It's going to give you a positive value. And this is what is called residual sum of squares. But we've not ended at this point. Now, let's say that we have function. Let me take back the, yellow, the other pen. So let me undo this. Take back the yellow pen. So when we have function of function of x is calculated by the linear regression line to be beta zero plus sorry beta zero plus beta one x. Let's say beta zero plus beta one x. Okay. So now. What we are going to call this is y hats called beta 0 plus beta 1 x. <clears throat> so at this point, you should know that the focus of linear regression is to reduce the residual sum of squares. And of course, by now, you know the meaning of residuals and you know the meaning of residual sum of squares. So writing RSS in a different way, we can write it as RSS equals so we are actually saying yi, so we have yi minus y hat squared plus, so if you're having y, y1, y1 plus y2 minus y2 hat squared, okay? So this is what all the way to y4 minus y4 hat squared. So what is this is what residual sum of squares is all about. So I want to actually make it very, very clear that this is what residual sum of squares is. Now, just for your knowledge, I'm going to tell you the values of beta 0 and beta 1 that makes this residual sum of squares to be minimum, right? Okay, so for you to get the minimum, I'm going to use a different color to then write. For you to get the minimum, we need to calculate x bar. x bar is the mean of the x values. <clears throat> mean of the x values and we are calculating this x bar from here we also calculate y bar which is the mean of the y values okay so now what we have is the mean of the x values and the mean of the y values so assuming that we have this without we've not done regression yet so we have x bar and we have y bar 
Now the values of beta 0 and beta 1 that will make the residual sum of squares minimum will be beta 1 equals summation from i is equal to 1 to n, where n is the number of data points you have. And we are taking xi minus x, x bar into yi minus y bar divided by sigma xi minus x bar squared. <clears throat> of course, this i is equal to 1 to n. Okay? So this is the value of beta 1 that makes the RSS minimum or that gives you the best fit of the regression line. And beta 0, the value of beta 0 that makes the RSS minimum will be equal to y hat minus beta 1. Beta 0 is equal to y hat minus beta uh, beta uh, y hat minus beta 1 x bar. Okay, so so these are the two things you need to know. Uh, and this is what sum of squares is all about. So let me now conclude. Uh, when you have sum of squares, we have MSE. We are trying to minimize this term. So both of them on the, in all practical sense, they, re, they refer to the same thing. And that is the value we are trying to minimize to get the best fit regression line. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to thank you for viewing. I'm also going to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. And also join the Machine Learning 101 uh, lesson, lecture series. I made this Machine Learning 101 lecture series to be very easy for everybody, beginners, expert, intermediate. Enthusiasts, anybody that really wants to learn machine learning and data science can follow Machine Learning 101. So if you look at the link in the description box below, you find a uh, link to this uh, lecture uh, series of Machine Learning 101. So I'd like to also uh, thank you for viewing and we'll see you in the next lesson.